All right, I'm gonna show you how to remove the bolt and to disassemble it from a Zastava LKM70. Um, so obviously the first thing we do is open up the bolt. And this notch here, pull it out. It's difficult to do with my hand. Okay, that, so that comes out. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to push right about here and then once that pushes this will pop out so you can see here squeeze you can see it's moving there so i'm going to just do that right now so just make sure um as it can rotate you just want it all the way to the right, pop that open, and it right there, that's a channel there, and it hooks in. So as you push it, you just pull it out, and that comes off. Now the next thing you want to do, you want to take this entire thing off, and um, you want to do is you want to push this spring and you want to decock because right now it's cocked because the firing pins inside so you want to decock that so you want to push this drop it down so now there's the firing pin now the next step's quite difficult what you have to do is you have to take a tool and push and push that up um, so as you can see here i'm just gonna see if i can do it with my thumb no can't do it with my thumb. Um, I used a uh, like a, a screwdriver, like a thin screwdriver uh, lengthwise, and grabbed it with both fingers and pulled it up. Um, and as you're doing that, you're gonna have to push this in so that this part here clears the handle here. And you just keep rotating this as you're pulling this up. And as it's going around, it's gonna get stuck in, there's uh, grooves and such, that as you're rotating it, you have to constantly be pulling this up and eventually it'll pop out. So I'll start twisting that. So here I am. So this is the little screwdriver poke that I use. I put it here, and then as you pull it up, because it's under her spring tension, um, you wanna pull it up and rotate it. So I'm rotating with this uh, counterclockwise. So as I said, it kind of got stuck in there. So then I just, and at the same time that it gets stuck there, um, this part here, right in there is, is hooked. So you got to undo that and pull that up at the same time. So I'm going to Here we go. So it's doing a full rotation. So now, it's a little bit, it's about whatever that is, like a millimeter further than where it was. And you just keep rotating. There we go. And keep rotating it. Almost there. There we go. So it's threaded right here. Um, so now that's out. Um, I've cleaned it when I got the rifle just yesterday so um, it's nice and clean I did just go to the range with it but it's still quite clean um, now the next step is to place this on a uh, padded surface so I've got carpet here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull push this part here this housing down and as you push it down you're gonna rotate this part here counterclockwise just a 90 degree turn, so. A little bit harder. There we go. That pops off, careful of releasing that. That comes off, that comes off, and now you can kind of do a wipe down and an oil job. To place everything back together, put the spring in, put this part on, and again, you're gonna 
push it down. There we go. Flip this. Oh, I almost lost that. It's all greasy from cleaning it yesterday. So put it, rotate it clockwise 90 degrees. You got the bolt back and then here, what you're gonna do is same thing, same idea. So right now I can just keep twisting this, it's not gonna catch. So what you have to do is start right about here and push down and then force it. So as you uh, place in the channel there and you rotate clockwise, once it stops at a certain spot, you wanna try to push down and pull up on this just to get it started and then keep rotating it while pulling this up. Keep rotating it. There we go, so it's in the next groove. We can see how far it needs to go still. So still about three more turns. go and then now to recock it you just have to rotate the bolt counterclockwise from this position so you want to rotate it this way there we go okay and the next thing we want to do after we have the bolt assembled we want to get this guide on or whatever it's called, I'm not quite sure, but just clips into place. There we go. And just rotate it until it goes into the channel there. And now it's locked into place. And let's put this bolt back into the gun and see how it cycles. Okay, let's see how it cycles. All in all, that's a smooth bolt. So I hope that this video helps some people. I know that the, uh, you know, it's based off of the Mauser. Um, but uh, with the Mauser, it had like that safety piece and um, and it was just a lot easier to rotate out. Whereas this one, you really had to pull this guy out to relieve the pressure on the spring to then be able to rotate this. So I really hope that people find this useful.